Because I wanted, I wanted to show when he, on his webpage, because on his web, actually, no, you know what? We'll just use his website. That's what we'll do. We'll use his website. Let's just go straight to the website. Okay, so currently on his website, he states that he has, he is, That's very true, <laughs> Mr. Washington. Hello, hello. Wait, are you the Mr. Washington? I know you. you oh, wow, you're fucking ledge. <laughs> hello. <laughs> wow. Uh, no matter how you slice it, Elite Clinic doesn't understand how the, how this stuff works. Most of his most of his posts are are so varied. It seems clear he is just. I am doing well. How are you? Uh, <laughs> it says most of most of his folks are varied. It seems clear that he is just latching on to an idea he can discover online. He's grasping at straws because his dreams of scamming people into funding his nursery aren't working out. You damn right. <laughs> it's too fucking early for me. <laughs> Well, you know, let me tell you something. I agree with that because um, his ideas are fucking crazy. But also, I also agree about it being too fucking early. Listen, you see this room? This room is is in the midst of a storyline of action figures, and we have and I am not anywhere near the end of that story. <laughs> Yeah, because people people understand that he is full of, like, he is, like, people understand that Mark is a clown. He is an absolute fucking clown. And it it is, it is just baffling on the idea that he is, that he is like this. But I want to show you guys something, right? So, on his website, now, I want to be clear, right? On the Thai Nursery website that you can find, and like you can find the Thai Nursery website anywhere, pretty much. But uh, uh, the Thai Nursery website, um, Baby Kins has already denounced Mark and has figured out that this dude is a fucking scammer. It, like Robert is just like Robert is 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 done, and has already stated that Thailand Nursery has nothing to do with him, right? However, he is still Mark is still using pictures from the Thailand nursery. Here's the thing about the Thailand nursery. Thailand nursery has been using pictures from like the goddamn beginning of time. <laughs> like, like these pictures are like before high definition cameras existed and like holy shit, like all their pictures are blurry and shit. Because they're old as fuck. Like, these pictures were taken in, like, 2008, 2007 or something like that. And you have to understand, a lot of this shit is, yeah. Yeah, and apparently the, the mommies that work there are all vampires because they don't age. <laughs> According to the way that the website uh, uh, shows them. So, let me, let me, let me uh, continue here. So, I want you to see what he says about this. Right? So we're going to scroll down. He says, on the week... And he always starts it in the middle. I don't know why he does this, but it's weird. He goes, on the weekend, the nanny would take care of all your needs. This would be discussed before you visit so we can give you the care you deserve. Each nursery will have a cot and high chair with a changing table. First off, right? My boyfriend and I were talking about opening a business for ABs. Like, we were actually talking about this. He's a real estate agent. <laughs> and him and I were talking about, like, actually, like, getting the funding and everything. And he's an awesome dude because he, like, the bank is willing to give him the money for it. However, like, <clears throat> I understand the financial planning that goes into doing this. So the financial planning that you need to do is, is risk, like, like risk reward, right? High risk, like high risk, high reward. But you always have to plan for things going wrong. And if things go wrong, you have to be prepared to counteract them. That's what you need. 
right? Funny fucking story. This dude doesn't, obviously doesn't know that this shit, how much this shit costs. Do you know how much a high chair costs? A, a high chair is about $2,000, roughly, and that's me lowballing fucking, uh, uh, my friend Thrash Bear. Yeah, you guys know the legendary Thrash Bear that builds all the fucking cribs and high chairs and shit? Him. He, like, this is me lowballing his prices. <laughs> so, a high chair is like what? Between 1500 and and 2000 Mr. Washington, how much, like, you have high chairs and, and, and cribs, right? How much did you, like, you, you paid probably good money for that shit. But the point is, is that, like, where is he getting enough of these to, to try to fill this up? Do you know that my boyfriend and I priced that out? And we found out that we would need about roughly, like, minimally, roughly about 20000 to have enough to actually, like, and, and this is only to get about maybe 10 made? We would need about 20000 to have about 10 of them made. And it's not like if, if they're put in high fucking production. That man literally makes them from scratch. Thrash Bear makes them from scratch. Most people that create the adult baby high chairs and stuff like that make them from scratch. It takes months. So if we were to order that, we wouldn't be able to open for like five years. <laughs> it's like, and that's, and that's a possibility. So no, no, fuck that. Like there's no way he got a whole bunch of these. And then he says, a large sofa with toys and a large TV for cartoons and videos. Well, okay. A large sofa and a large TV. So who gets control of the television? See what I mean? Like, there are going to be ABs who do nothing more than watch television. And there are going to be ABs that do nothing more than play with toys. If, for instance, you guys have met me at cons. What do you guys, where do you guys normally find me? In the nursery playroom. <clears throat> where I'm usually on the floor playing with a huge swath of Power Ranger action figures that I have somehow stuffed into a small-ass bag. Like, no. Like, some people legitimately saw me surrounded by a sea of Power Rangers. So, like, how how are you doing this? So he keeps going and he talks about, we'll also have a sand pit and a small play area in the garden in which is not, is a, which is not overlooked. Wait, where it's not overlooked. <laughs> okay. So then I guess you're not having this place in fucking Sussex then, because if you have ever seen Sussex, there's no fucking place over there in that city that looks like that. I don't know how, how like, where are you going to get the fucking, the, the, the fucking, uh, uh, fences? L like, please, get the fuck out of here. And then he says, rooms, if, he says, rooms, if the want, if the you want, wait, what the fuck is that? Rooms, if the you wants to bring a partner or carer with them for the experience. What? What? Okay. <laughs> then he posts right here, right? He, he claims, he says, I am pleased to announce that Robert Babykins, uh, Robert Baby Bunnykins, that's right, Robert Baby Bunnykins has kindly agreed to run the nursery experience at the Elite AB Clinic. We also have Mommy, Mommy Diana available at the nursery. Really? That's interesting, because there have been no posts of that person, unless he's referring to the one that I believe works for the, the Thai nerd. You know what? <laughs> let's, let's do this. <laughs> let's just do this. See, there's a Nanny Rose who used to work with them and who is there now. I, it, like, it's so hard to find. I think it's called, uh, let's see, adult baby. 
Let's see, is it retreat now? The Thai adult baby retreat. Is that what it's called? No. Give me a moment. I need to figure out where the fuck this is because notice Robert never, not Robert, Mark never posts the website and I argue with him on that. I was like, why don't you post the website for the, for this? Like, where where is the website? Like, if you're a part of that, well, Robert redid the website. Okay, then why the fuck didn't you post it? Because nobody realizes that the Thai uh, adult baby nursery is still in existence. Like, it, it, no one realized it. So, that's really weird. And then it says, we offer therapy in a setting that respects and loves your little. Who are you, who is this referring to? Is that referring to the big that takes care of that little? Or is it referring to the person? It, it's weird. Okay. Dialectical behavior therapy is an, is an evidence-based psychotherapy that began with the efforts to treat personality disorders. So, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. And interpersonal conflicts. This is evidence that DBT can be useful in treating mood disorders, suicidal ideation, and uh, uh, it says, and for change in behavioral patterns such as self harm and substance use but that doesn't and it says copy from google actually it was not copy from google that's actually copy from the dbt uh page i believe hold on let me see dbt wait i went to the website the other day and found it uh hold on hold on Why am I having a hard time finding some of these? Like, I typed in, I typed, oh, this is how I found it. Yeah. So, we're going to keep going here. Give me a sec. I want to show this to you because this was fucking interesting to me. Ooh. Let's see about this one. We're going to open that. <laughs> We're going to go to Sissy Kiss. Because Sissy Kiss might actually have something that we can use here. Uh, is this, no, this is the Elite Nursery that we're already at. I'm looking for... Damn, I can't find it now. And that irritates me. Because there was a website that we found out had, had it too. Okay, uh, oh, I guess the post is not here anymore. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. What? This is fascinating. So, they posted on here. But did you notice what they posted? Notice what they posted here. Okay, that's strange. Let's see what the two posts were. So they ever had two posts on here. This is so fucking strange. Like, he keeps posting, like, he posts his shit that advertises this thing, but he is, like, so fucking odd. Okay. Okay. Let's go back here. So, he's talking, but this is from the DBT uh, guide, guide site. Basically, there's a website in, in the UK that actually grabs, in, like, other websites 
and shows them according to, like, I guess, keywords. And one of the things that they ended up finding was, like, the DBT, uh, like, this. This is where all of this comes from, because I found the website that this comes from. Cognitive behavioral, like... It, like, he talks about cognitive behavioral disorders. He clearly believes that being an AB is a mental disorder, which is really stupid, because he constantly states this. Like, whenever you talk to him, he constantly believes that ABs are mentally, have mental disorders. By the way, this picture here, this pic, this is from the Thailand nursery. I remember when they posted this years ago. Like, oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, man. It is. Yeah, here's a copy from Wikipedia. He, 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 he said he lifted it right. He says, yeah, he, he, he like, it is. But he, he it, it's from, okay, so it is from Wikipedia. Because I found a website that actually stated the entire thing exactly like that. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, why would you, why would you? Anyway, <laughs> it's so stupid. But he continues on with, like, just just cla with random claims about Robert working the nursery. And then later on, if you look at his later, his later page, right, he straight out says, he goes from saying that he's running the nursery to he's living in the nursery. And I'm like, what? Like, he's living in the nursery now. Like, oh, okay. Like, he's just, he's just there somehow. Like, he's just gonna live there. And he, like, keeps pushing, like, these weird-ass narratives that don't really go anywhere. And as you can clearly see, Robert, uh, that, 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 uh, as you can clearly see, this dude is a fucking loon. Like, he is absolutely fucking crazy. Here's another thing, right? If you thought that, if you thought that this couldn't get any weirder, like, if you legitimately thought that this story couldn't get any weirder, it does. There are certain points where Mark starts pretending to be his own wife. I'm not fucking joking. He pretends to be his own wife. <coughs> now, clearly, his wife has to exist, right? Because he filed for this company. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these organiz like government organizations do not check to see if these companies actually fucking exist. They don't. They don't check. They they just suspect that that's the case. I'm going to be honest with you. They should probably fucking check. Because a lot of these places are... A lot of these, these guys are obviously full of shit. So... Jesus. I don't... I, I I don't know what else to say other than like it's funny to me that he that they didn't check because let me let me explain why. He straight up claims that his wife's name is Carol Young, right? Who then her name magically changes from Carol Young to Carol Jones, and her account is obviously a bot account, which found out Robert's using those because recently I had a bot retweet me. And I was really surprised at that. And I says, wait, what the fuck? Who is this bot? And it was like Twitchy? Twitchy bot? Or something like that? And it clearly states that it's a bot. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> and I was like, oh, so he's buying bots now. Like, eh. Anyway, he starts claiming that he's going to be buying this new place. Now, Andy straight out like, points out that, like, Andy had asked him, he's like, does the neighbors of where you're holding this know that you're, are they going to be okay with this? No joke does fucking Mark jump up and say, you duxed me and told the council I'm holding an AB, uh, holding an AB nursery. And I says, what? What? How the fuck did you think? Mm. Okay, so some magical motherfucking way, some magical thinking here, because he asked you, 
if the neighbors knew that you were are going to if, if the if the neighbors knew that you were opening that because you should probably find out if they're okay with that somehow he doxed you to the government even though you clearly named your company <coughs> elite adult baby clinic to the government with the address then says he leaked my address to the government but you leaked the address to the government let alone the, the address that you have on the website you claim is not the nursery's address right okay but on your filing for the company you state that it is the address so whose address is that whose address is it whose because it makes no fucking sense you can't have an address tell them that that's your company then say oh this address is not my company at all oh it's 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 just a random address then that means that you've lied about your fucking company there are so many fucking red flags about this like actual motherfucking red flags like how the fuck do you claim that your business is at this address and it's not and then get mad when someone is like, I found the address here. And then you say, you doxed me. And now I can't open because I was doxed. What? Dude, if it's public information, it's not doxed. So how the fuck? And then literally went online and started saying, Andy doxed me. And that's why we couldn't open the nursery. And I'm like, that's horseshit. <coughs> That's obvious horseshit. And I'm just like, come on, guy. Like, what the fuck? There's no fucking way that you can go over here and claim that, that because Andy asked you about that question, that it's somehow a dox, and that's why you couldn't open. By the way, that's his excuse that he came up with about a week ago, because that wasn't the excuse that he had about why he didn't open in, in February. In February, it was, oh, I couldn't open because the website was down. Then why are you looking for a place to actually fucking do this? Did the government tell you that you couldn't open up an adult baby nursery? But if they did, they would have to have told you ahead of time. So there's no way Andy had anything to do with it. Either the government said it or or, or you just didn't have the place. It's one or the other. Like, it is fucking stupid. The other thing is... I ended up, like, having this conversation with this man over time and asking him questions about different things that he had, he was saying and doing. He claimed that, like I said, with the, you saw the Thailand nursery thing. Problem with the Thailand nursery is, is that we have no proof that that's actually still in existence. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. There have not been any photos that were taken that look like they were taken in previous, in, in current day. The new website is just reposting shit from almost 10 years ago. So what the fuck type of claim are you claiming that you are working with this nursery that we have no proof actually exists? It's fucking weird. So things get even weirder in the conversation with this man because he, he straight out at one point claims... I was sitting on a G.I. Joe gun. <laughs> I just, okay. Uh, he starts claiming some weird fucking stuff here. Because, like, like, so at one fucking point in, uh, on his page, he actually straight out, because Andy called him out on his bullshit, he straight out ends up fucking posting this. Just take a look at this. Take a look at this, right? We will offer age regression therapy for clients in the nursery setting. In a nursery setting. Wait, age regression therapy for clients in the nursery setting? Inner child work. It says elite, elite AB clinic. We are not open yet due to an online bully called Andy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Oh Jesus God. When I was a kid, 
I used to know a guy named Joseph back when I was a kid, right? He used to get mad at me at random fucking times and fucking yell at me and say, I'm not your friend anymore! And then run off. And it was, I look back at it and it was really fucking funny because, like, we were in high school and he actually did that once and I was like, the fuck? <laughs> and, like, I started laughing, my friends started laughing, and they were just like, what the fuck just took place? That's a good fucking question. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, he goes, we will offer, a, like, we are, are not open yet due to online bully called Andy. Andy, I, I know you're in the chat. <laughs> Could you please... Like, for the love of God, like, what, what the fuck? Like, how, how did you get mixed up in this shit? Like, how, how the fuck? Like, who, wow, like, I, I can't stop laughing because this shit is fucking funny. It's like, he put it in bold letters too. It was like all caps. <laughs> you got, <coughs> He put it in all fucking caps. And he, he says, he may as well, he said, he may as well say someone stepped on, on a crack and now he has to take care of his mother's back. And that's why he's not open. <laughs> Damn, that got me the Joker laugh. So, okay, so, so there's two laughs that I do when, when <coughs> excuse me. I need to take allergy medicine later. But, oh dear God. Whoo! All right. So, he, he, he is just, it's, you have to ask the question. Where the fuck does this clowny shit come from? Because, like, a lot of people would look at this and go, what the fuck is he talking about? And, and, like, they would be right. What is he talking about? Like, I couldn't open because, because, uh, uh, I was bullied. And you want to know what's really funny is that him being bullied is him being asked legitimate fucking questions about his company that he can't fucking answer. By the way, let's get to, let's, let's, let's not skip out on this. Andy asked some really legitimate questions. And then he started researching and trying to warn people by telling them with his parody account of the Elite AB Clinic. Right? Friends of Dr. Rhonda are now stepping up and actually, like, saying they don't have any affiliation. Like, Rhonda has nothing to do with that. With, with her friends stepping up, like, people that know her are stepping up to defend her. And I'm glad that they are. Because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you some of the conversation that happened earlier this week that was just like, okay, this guy is a fucking clown. <laughs> so... Um, let me, let me change, let me see if I have some more here. Uh, we ain't done with this lol cow yet. <laughs> so, um, on Twitter, on Twitter, and this was recent too, uh, give me a second, I need, I need my booty control, oh Jesus Christ, this thing is getting dust. Diva, I need you. Thank you. Thank you. The mass cheeks. <laughs> oh man. So uh let's let's get let's 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 check this out, right? I'm I'm gonna share this in just a moment. So recently he started like he'll like he for some reason thinks that posting people's conversations and only posting the conversation part that he wants you to see is somehow fucking evidence, right? Let me give you an example of some of the shit that he has posted on my Twitter. And you guys can go and check this out for yourself if you want. It, it's, it's quite funny. Like, I, I have been rapidly fucking entertained by this. <laughs> uh, give me a moment. Let me go to my Twitter and we scroll down and we go here. Here we go, right? Yeah, so he actually posted this on my subscription page 
Oh, uh, like, like he posted it as a reply to, to like where I talk about my subscriptions for like just for fans and stuff like that. But like, which by the way is not an advertisement. Just people just know that. I'm just telling you where he posted this shit. Um, he, oh dear God, he what he does is is that uh, okay, here we go. Let me share this so you guys can see this. It says, it has posted as recently as a few days ago that Thai nursery is still open. However, he lives in the UK now, but can still schedule visits to the ladies in Thai. I, I'm, okay, so I do know about that because he has stated that, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't trust that shit. Like, you mean to tell me that, that you're living in the UK and you're scheduling shit with a bunch of ladies in Thailand? That's like so much, like, to me, that just smells of a scam. And I, I and like, I'm just not trustworthy with people about my money. <laughs> like, like I want, I want to physically, I don't want to sound like this guy that I listened to on the news, this crazy dude that was talking about his company at one point, where he was like, I'd like to feel my workers, like, smell them. I'm like, whoa, dude, calm down. God damn. I like to know that where my money is going. I, I really like to know, like, pay them and know that that's where it's going. I don't want to go there and not know where the fuck it is, get there. He says, yeah, okay, so yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to go there and then, like, and, and, and then, like, there ain't no nursery there. And I'm paying a dude in the UK for whatever fucking people in fucking Thailand. No, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and in like the UK, even Thailand is just sus for, for situations like that. So it becomes like fucking weird. So here here's what we're going to do. Like, I'm, I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see some of the weird shit this son of a bitch has actually posted on my, on my, uh, on my Twitter. So... On September 16th, he goes, Robert saying the use of my, the, uh, saying use my pick. A tweet from Andy that is a lie. I never stole the pick. He made it up so he could tell lies. I hate to say it, but whenever he writes this shit, it almost sounds like the way one of my friends describes people talking from fucking Teddy Con. And I start laughing because I dead ass just hear Teddy God. <laughs> oh dear God. Oh, uh, oh Jesus. Okay. So he shows pictures of this, right? Of of him using the Thailand nursery account, but like he straight up, like like Robert is straight up said, and this is about I think about a month ago. He stated that he has nothing to do with with this nursery, and he was quite blunt in his long post that he had put online. And like, okay, so maybe we can't say that you can use the equipment. That's fine, but you're still not showing equipment used in your nursery. And I don't think Mark understands that. He's like, he said I can use his pictures. Yeah, that's fine, but you don't have any pictures of. Your nursery. That's the problem. You are showing everybody else's nursery, including ones that you don't actually like, are not a part of, and 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 claiming that these are nurseries that this is the elite adult baby nursery, but it's not, and it's fucking clownish that this dude keeps doing that, right? So we're going to go down. I says. Was this readily available? I says, why does your website say that Robert is running the, the clinic? When he put out a statement that said that Thailand Nursery are, it says that he and Thailand Nursery are not working with you. I only want a fair, he says, I want a fair hearing as Andy is not telling the whole truth. Now he's not telling the whole truth. Like, Andy apparently is, is not lying anymore he's just not telling the whole truth and notice how he's starting to walk this back because it says he goes he says just his version with an agenda what agenda right what agenda 
Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Why is Nazi Germany fucking trending? <laughs> what the fuck? That's that's awfully suspicious that that just started trending immediately when I started talking about that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, I have admitted an online. He said, "I've admitted online." He says, "I have admitted online any mistakes I have made." No, no, you didn't. No, no, you really haven't. You have not addressed any of the mistakes you made. A matter of fact, uh, quite frankly, you have seen posts, I showed it earlier, where he clearly states that he is not at fault. You know what? What? He says that he, that he, uh, that he admits that he was at fault, right? Let's go to a good old pamper foul here. What did, what, 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 what did he say? Oh, dear God. What, what, what did he say here? What did he say? Yes, you make a good point, but why ignore his stance? If he is just, is a, if he, if he just PM me, I would have been happy to help. But this is, is a, but his first tweet called me a scam and this is false. So, you ain't admitting that you, now mind you, this is what it's in reference to, where he had stole these pictures. So, where did he admit it? I didn't see him admit it. And when these people start talking his ass down, he starts going, thanks, I appreciate the frankness. That's all I asked. Yeah, you're right. I, I'm really bad at social media. Lol. Stop adding lols, you fucking idiot. He says, I will hire someone soon to do it as I suffer from bipolar and hate goes to, and hate gets to me. Blessing. Where He's still not admitting it. He's just saying, oh, well, it's the fault of my, my mental disorder. By the way, did he ever hire that fucking person? Because this is, this is like 2021. He never hired that person, so I guess he, I guess it, it, his bipolar didn't bother it too much. And he says, "I said I was bad with social me at social media, and people on here are, are he says, and people on here that are trolls and haters is bad for my mental health. If you took the time to read, you would, you would not be so ignorant. Blessing to you and your family." Once again, I don't see him accepting the fucking blame. I, I don't see that at all. Like, I don't see him accepting a lot of shit. And it says, like... So, here's another thing, right? It says, like... <clears throat> Mark clearly states here. He's like, we are opening we are opening in Canada and the U.S. in the fall. What? Like, how are you opening in Canada and the U.S.? Like, he hasn't even opened in fucking Britain yet. But let's let's keep going. He says he claims that he that he that he uh has admitted it to it, right? He says I have he says I have admitted to on uh, I have admitted online any mistakes I have made. I admitted before that I am un, that I am unprofessional and have used a couple of and have used a couple of pics without permission. No, you didn't accept that. Actually, you didn't. You didn't accept that. Like, you knew that, if you knew that you were, like, using them without permission, why did you cause a big fuss about it? It was really stupid. Then he says, but not, but not a bad man or a, or a scammer. I hate to say this, but he talks like one of those Nigerian scammers off of fucking Instagram. Does anybody, has anyone ever had to deal with them? I actually had one to video chat me, and it was actually kind of funny, because he actually admitted, he's like, I live in squalor. I'm like, no, you're standing in squalor. <laughs> it's like, there's a difference. Like, you're standing in squalor. You're not living in squalor. You can't prove that you actually live in squalor. Like, you, like, I, like, what, like, I notice that you're not showing your house or anything, because you're afraid that, that the, either the military, the military is going to storm your home or some shit. But yeah, no. Here's where we here's where we go. Um, we have the next one. He says, "This he says this is another lie from the parody account." He says, "I stole the pic." He says, "But as you can see, it was requested to me to post it." The parody account set. Uh, he says, 
set me up by getting me to post a pic and, and then reported it. See below the parody admitting to lies. Here's the problem with it. Oh, oh, this is one of those stupid... He actually made fucking videos. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yes, no, that picture that you see right here, that's supposedly Robert. I don't believe it's Robert. I believe Robert is a clown. Um, and he's just missing the makeup and shit. I want to, I want to address these, because these are fucking baffling. Okay. Parody account. He says he had a lovely message from the owner of this company, and we can now confirm that Mark has been told to remove the image from his website. This is no longer coming to... Oh, did he claim that that was coming to the clinic? <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's enlarge this. Uh... Wait, can you post this right is as in the group for me, please? I'm going to be taking is as talking to a company to make these. They make for kids. I want to see if they make for adults. I get asked to post this, then Andy reports the picture to the owner. Andy set me up and so he could so he can post lies. Ooh. But here's the problem with that, right? Here's... I, I want to point something out. How is that proof that that's Andy speaking? That's the thing that I keep pointing out to him. There's no proof that that's Andy. Like, that, that he doesn't show who the account was. If he believed it was Andy, he would have pointed out the account, but he doesn't. He just states it's Andy. Andy being asked to remove... It says... Andy being asked to remove uh, to remove image, but he still uses it. Actually, the guy is responding. He says, "We do not want to be involved in slander wars and using our images." I have spoken to Mark now and ha and and has removed the. Do you, do you do you not understand how fucking weird this is? Because he's claiming that Andy is using it, but he obviously posted this, right? Here's my question. Here's my question. Why did you post that little part of it and not the full fucking subject? And and like if you look at this, this is poorly paced together. Like I I don't know why he does this. But then he thinks that shit like this is evidence, and it's fucking weird. Uh, he posted a picture I took of my crib when I first built it, and it was captioned, The nursery is waiting for you. Oh! That was yours? Oh, shit! I didn't know that! Oh, shit! Wow! I did not know that that was yours. Oh, wow. I did see that, and I had no idea. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, fuck. Okay, so... So he posted your fucking nursery on there. Wow. Wow. Oh, that that is fucking shitty. Uh, 